It's a nasty day, Virginia Beach. Mid 50s, light misty rain. No waves though, it's pretty. No reports from anybody if they went to crack of dawn yet. Maybe I'll get some. Maybe some didn't probably go because of the weather. I'm nice delivering. Well, there's a Sally Works store. This was the first one. Like I said, they got three locations. This is the oldest one. I do their knives. I was doing them every two weeks for a couple of years. But when the COVID thing, they shut down. This is the first time I've been there since March. Now they want to start once a month, which is okay. And then we'll go back to regular two week schedule when they uh, get full in full swing. I'll get back to you. Look at this. I can't tell what kind of car it is. Oh, a Nissan. It's a right hand drive. Guy driving on the right hand side. You don't see many tickets like that around here. Yes, sir, Ray. That's a fine looking tick ticky though, that. Come on now, shut off, you piece of crap, you. Think well, I got all the knives delivered. Now I'm out picking up some. The first stop is going to be uh, about a, a three quarters of a mile from the cave. And then I got to leave there and I shoot down the road about a mile or two, uh, three miles or two, and pick up some scissors. Then I got to go to downtown Norfolk, pick up some more knives. Then I got to go to the land of Nala, 72nd Street, and pick up some more knives. I'm the traveling Wilbury today. And try to get in a spin for low tide late this evening. And it's sprinkling, well you can't tell it's sprinkling, but it's sprinkling lightly right now. But it's been doing that on and off, no big deal. Salt doesn't melt anyway too good when it's old. I'll get back to you. Well, there's the first set. Got them in a nice REI bag. It was like five or six in there. We'll look at them when we get home. The cave is right up here on the right. But we're not going over there. Well, I got a bag full of scissors. I don't know what's in there. It's like six or seven, eight pair and two knives. A big knife and a little uh, pair, she said. And now we're about ten minutes away from the last knives of the day. Uh, far, no, I take it back. We still have to go to the land of knowledge to pick up knives. God! Well, we were just two streets over from where we were last week. Where the battleship Wisconsin is. There she is right there. You see her? You can't see anything but the bow, but there she is. Battleship Wisconsin. Norfolk waterfront. Event spot. Destination. Whatever you want to call it. Well, I had to stop and get some gas at Wawa. Here's the last knives I picked up. Six in there, I think. <coughs> gas is 169.9 today. Same as it's been for about a month. Well, I got to land a knot of knives. Lady says, uh, be careful, they're breaking out of the bag. <laughs> I don't know how many's in there, but it sounds like a lot. Gray Matter City and high tide. Not much people on the beach. There's three down there, that's it. Fishing hooks like I did get a report from Beaver. He went last night and he didn't find anything but pennies. He said pennies and pennies everywhere. I think he put in a tenth and went to uh, I can't remember. He went, you know, he's a big, he, he goes a long ways. I just can't remember exactly where he went, but it was a long distance. 
he did find a dead loggerhead turtle that a ship had hit, cut the back end of the big turtle off. That happens with so many ship traffic, we have a lot of turtles that get killed by propellers. And that's the only report we got so far. Look at that! The Verizon Fios TV man is here. He wasn't here earlier. That's a good sign. TV tonight, maybe. Well, I don't know how many is in the busted bag, but I dumped them in a tote. I haven't even counted them yet. Look at them in there. <laughs> good great me. Well, the rain mist has turned to fog. <laughs> I can see pretty good, but you can tell it's really foggy. just got through with all the damn knives. Look at this. I'll get to that tomorrow video. You'll like it. Very interesting ticket in there. Guacamole. Homemade. From the Mexican place. Homemade. That just made me sense. Steak and chicken fajita and shrimp veracruz. Stand by. Steak and chicken fajita, beans and rice, salad, rice, and chicken, I mean, uh, shrimp veracruz. That's a fancy some tickets right there, I'm telling you. Got green peppers in it and all kinds of stuff. That's a fancy dish. Well, I got mine ready to go. Chris is working on hers, and Jack is waiting. Impatiently, by the way. Well, there's the big set I picked up at the Landonada. I never have counted them. What we got? We got four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four knives and a pair of scissors. That's a good day in itself. I didn't really look at the knives until I got home, put them on the table, the ones we picked over there out of Wisconsin. But these three right here are nice knives. Gerber. A lot of people don't know that Gerber makes wonderful kitchen knives. I mean, great steel. This is a Nussmeister from Japan, kind of a mid-grade Japanese knife. Cuisinart, art, and I can't make out what this one is. But damn top three right there are some fancy tickets, I can tell you. Well, the Knox is going back tomorrow. I got the RNA number, put her in the post office, I mean take her to the post office, and off she goes. There's the culprit right there, I believe. Good sailing, my friend. Look, we have TV. The TV's working. Wow! Five days, no TV. Oh, four days. Or five, I don't remember. 